Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Killfeed or Brandy here today and it just dawned on me and I just saw it on my computer. I'm at 34.9k. Just hit subscribe. Go ahead and make it 35,000. That'd be truly amazing. If you guys don't want to, that's completely fine. I understand. Just leave a like or a comment or a dislike, whatever you guys want below. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to go over a few things. I'm not going to say a certain number because I have like, uh, like eight written down. That's a weird number. But a few things that you may have missed in the actual trailer. Now, I know a few people have done this already. It's me, James, and stuff like that. And I completely agree. You know, go ahead. Go cover that stuff. I'm going to cover it, too. Now, he he did mention a lot of things that made a really good point. And I am going to cover those. But if you guys would, go ahead and go check my boy out. He would definitely appreciate it, and so would I. Anyways, very first thing. We're just going to get right into it. We're not playing around here. So if you guys notice in the lush caves scene, whenever they're going down the vines to the hole in the actual cave itself, there's actually, if you look to your left, there's a little tree. Now, I don't know if that's a fern or a bush or what, but it looks like a little tree. It does not look like a sapling. It doesn't look like it's in a pot or anything. It is an actual little tree. So are we going to have cave trees? Or, I mean, what? That would be really cool, though, if we had cave trees. I'm not going to lie to you. I would really, really enjoy something like that. Um, a little tree like that. I don't know. I just, I just find that freaking awesome. I don't know. It's, it's just something that hits me. Also, in the cave. Now, I know I think I heard some people talk about this. Maybe this is what they're talking about. But those little berries on the vines, are those edible or are those just for show? I'm not very sure. But those are... The, I mean, they could be they could be the new food. They could just be doing like a quarter of a hunger bar because they're a berry or something, which will be completely pointless. Or maybe they're for a potion, a new potion. Maybe I don't know something. I don't. I don't maybe something to do with the axolot or something. I have no idea. But I did see those little things. Maybe they already been covered. I'm not sure. In the scene, whenever they're showing the warden, that place that they're in is the actual new biome whenever that guy said there's they have made a new biome but they're not going to go over it today because they have something else to show you and i'm i guess he was referring to something else in the biome to show you and he showed us the warden now that biome he also referred it to as the deep dark you don't want to go to the deep dark because you'll run into the warden now i'm going to go ahead and play the clip where he says it thinking about this redstone block that lives in the deep dark a new biome at the deepest depths of the world you see what i mean so he went ahead and said that and i caught it i don't know how many people caught it i've seen a lot of people just skip by this like it was nothing he literally gave us the new biome it word for word so basically the deep dark is just the place i guess where this ward warden spawns a uh, boss i guess it is uh kind of i guess it's like the elder guardian it's it's an overland boss but it doesn't have really any meaning that ender dragon is the only one that really has meaning the deep dark now the deep dark also has new care new blocks with new characteristics so i don't know what the new block is actually called i think it's called the shulk block or something like that um uh, but I'll, I'll obviously have it on screen so you guys can see it but it's a new block, it's blue and stuff, and then there is that new stone. It looks like it's some medieval stone, something from the pyramid times, okay? That stone does look pretty nice, okay? that that I guess that block is only obtainable in that new biome, which would obviously be called the Deep Dark. But also in the Deep Dark, there are two other things that people have missed, and it is very important that we do talk about it. The candles. The candles are very, very important. There is a black candle and there is a white candle. It, you can hardly see the white candle off in the distance, but it is there. Also, they do look like sea pickles, just like It's Me James said. They remind him of sea pickles, and I completely agree with them. Maybe, like he said, you can stack them all in one block. You can stack up to four. Maybe we can do six or eight or something. Just they get taller as they go or something like that. But yeah, he did make a very good point on that. They do look like the sea pickles. Probably the same characteristics. Probably a little less on the light level si side since they are a candle instead of an actual light source. They're just something to barely see rather than light up a whole room. And then he said something about a treasure room. Now, that room does look like it spawns down there with the warden. So that's like a treasure room or a reward room that you get for beating that thing. Or it could be 
that you have to kind of lure him away with snowballs or arrows by 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 vibrations to go ahead and open the chest or something like that. It could be like a a trick chest or maybe it's just a normal chest that you get for going down there and discovering the new biome, which would be pretty sick. Hopefully they offer something more than like leather armor or something. But even if they did, I'd still take it because, you know, it's a, it's a warden armor. So that's something that's way better than most. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but it was not an effect they added on to the actual live stream. It was a real effect that the warden does cause you. It causes the light level to dim and brighten whenever Okay, I'm going to guess that's probably whenever he's walking into whenever you're whenever you basically quote air quotation mark summon him by vibrations and those little plants pick him up. But it does actually change the light level and it's really, really crazy to see that because, oh my God, I could not imagine walking in a cave. And next thing I know, my torches are dark. I turn around and I see this big old Hulk about to smash me. Okay, because that is terrifying. But... I mean, it is what it is. Just letting you guys know, if you guys didn't catch it, it does affect the light level. And that is something to definitely take note of whenever this thing does drop, which is in a long time. But it is okay because they're going to perfect this thing. And it gives us time to go ahead and gain a huge family on here. So we can go ahead and attack 1.117 like it ain't nothing. So there is a few more things I do want to go over here. But one of the things is that there are actual two types of axolots in that water if you guys did not see there's a brown one and there is a white and pink one now i don't know what the difference is but if you watch the trident part wherever he's trying to throw the trident at the uh elder guardian there's only white and pink ones that go so is it that the white and pink ones are hostile and the brown ones are just fish or was it just a coincidence or what but it does seem pretty fishy to me. So that is very interesting note to take down and keep that in mind for whenever this update does come out. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but did you guys see in also the lush caves that there's little green blocks? Now, I know James said that they could be like the snow, uh, the snow floor or whatever it is. We can stack them on top of each other and make it like a full block. I've seen that, but... There's actual blocks, and they're shown two or three times in that trailer at different scenes, uh, in caves, and then in that, and then at the surface and stuff. So it is, it's just very weird to me. Maybe it's a new block coming to the game, or maybe it's just something new that we can craft with the with the vegetation and the caves or something. I have no idea, but I just thought it was very, very interesting that it is all over the game now. So that is something to also take note of. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it on this note right here. Now, James made a very good point. I am referring to him because he did point this out, and I didn't see anyone else point this out. He pointed this out that there is probably a use for poisonous potatoes now. Now, whenever that scene is, whenever they're swimming through the axolots or whatever and you just see in the right side of his hot bar there are 44 poisonous potatoes a stack is 64 so where'd the other 20 go did i know he didn't eat them or maybe he did eat them to try to not get poisoned by the axolots or something like that or maybe he's trying to breed them or tame them or something of that nature which is very interesting and a very good catch by him because i didn't even notice it and i watched that thing three times i watched it live and two other times so that's very very good point to be made but that's going to do it for today's video now i know it is a little shorter maybe around six to eight minutes long or maybe shorter than that so hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video now if you guys are seeing this video today go ahead and make sure you check out my other video today i did post let's play episodes so if you guys would go ahead and go hop over there check that out i did post a video yesterday and I did post a video two days before that. So if you guys want to go check those out, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, subscribe if you are new. Leave a like on the video. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.